Oh, my. I did not expect to have another visitor so soon. I would tell you to make yourself at home, but... With the way you've broken into my house, I am sure you don't need to be told twice. Who sent you this time around? The agency, perhaps? <sighs> You'd think that with all the investigators I've sent back memory wiped, that they would take a hint. Oh, an independent detective. That is new. Welcome, welcome, darling. Please, have a seat, and I will answer all of your questions in just a second. Don't be silly now. No offence, my dear. If all the organisations couldn't capture me, what makes you think you'll be able to on your own? Hmm? I could just put your mind to sleep give you a trigger to never come into my house again, and send you on your merry way. If I were you, I'd just take this as an opportunity for an interview of sorts. I am sure people out there would love being let into all of the secrets of manipulating people and bending their will. Oh... That is a nice thought. Then you must believe that all the people I've hypnotised must have secretly wanted it. After all, if hypnosis can't make you do something you don't want to, there should be no reason for you to want to arrest me, no? I am willing to debate with you. Just have a seat on the couch and let me get you a glass of water. There we go. Much better now. Yes, I do like my sofa full of pillows. They're really soft, aren't they? It's so easy to sink into them and relax after a stressful day. So easy to let go. Hmm? What is it? Oh, you think I was trying to hypnotise you just now. I was just trying to make small talk. Maybe you're just super susceptible to my words and my voice. You should be careful before you drop on your own. Besides, I wouldn't need to have you focus on something like a pillow. If anything... I would have you focus on my eyes and the sound of my voice. Eyes as fixation points work wonders, you see. There is something so intimate about holding eye contact for so long. You start to fall into the other person's eyes. They can be very intense. Wouldn't you agree? It's hard to find the balance between looking interested and staring uncomfortably. Are you big on eye contact, my sweet? That's okay. Once you become aware of these little things, it becomes even more difficult how often should you blink? Should you look away sometime? Where should you look? Yes, I'm glad we agree, darling. Thankfully. With hypnosis, you don't have to worry about those things. In fact, staring is the whole point. The whole point is to stare so deep your thoughts grind to a halt. There is nothing else that matters except staring. That's it. Just like that. All 
that matters is staring. Staring and listening until everything else fades away. So stare for me. When you begin staring, you find that you don't want to look away. You could stare forever. Stare and let go. Eyes can be so mesmerizing, can't they? They sparkle and flicker in the light. They pull you in so that all you want to do is stare. It's a calming, peaceful sensation. So stare and listen. Ah uh-uh. ah. There is no need to talk, dear. You just need to stare and listen. It will come to you as naturally as you breathe. It's such a soothing, relaxing feeling. It's all you want to do. It's all you can do. You can't look away from me. But it's not so bad, is it? My eyes are locking you in place. And my voice is filling your ears with warm, soothing honey. You feel calm and relaxed. You don't have to worry about anything else except my voice and my eyes. My voice is relaxing your mind. My eyes are drawing you in. You can trust them. You can trust me. And you can feel it, can't you? The calm that overwhelms your body as your blinks become slower and slower. Your eyelids get heavier and heavier and heavier. Still fixated on my eyes, my pacifying eyes, eyes that soothe your soul and make you relax. Drowsy, sleepy, you're getting so sleepy. Your eyelids are very heavy. You can hardly even keep them open. Struggle all you want. With each blink, it becomes harder and harder to open them again. Easier and easier to let your mind drift away. Give up your mind to me and go to sleep. It's okay, pet. I know, I know. You are struggling to stay awake. You want to tear your gaze away from me and walk away. 
but resisting only makes you so much more tired for me. Your mind is being filled with sleep, and very soon it will overwhelm you. You will be helpless to obey. Helpless to go to sleep. Gaze deeply into my eyes as you feel your thoughts slowing down. Just like. You are losing all desire to fight, only wanting to sleep under my control. No thoughts, no will, only sleep, sleep. Three. Feeling things come back into focus as you emerge from the still, placid bliss of trance. Four. Forgetting to remember. Remembering to forget. Knowing that it's okay for your memories to be locked away. Your subconscious remembers. Your subconscious will keep you safe. Five, and wide awake for me. Welcome back, pet. No, no, don't make any sudden movements now. You still look so tired. You might fall. There we go. Just settle back onto the couch for me. Shh. You want nothing more than to rest between those soft pillows. That's a good darling. Let me gently ruffle your hair. You don't want me to? Oh, I might take that personally, you know. How much I love those slow, wary blinks of yours. What is it, dear? You don't trust me? Afraid you might have fallen under my spell? Oh, sweetie. Do I have bad news for you? <laughs> no, no. Don't panic now. Everything is okay. Just. Relax. Yes, like that. Well done. Yes, I have put your free will to sleep. With a snap of my fingers and a few gentle words. You will do anything, I say. Oh, it's okay, darling. I always treat my pets nicely and give them everything they need. Under me, you will not need to worry about anything. No stress, no deadlines, no nothing. All you have to do is listen to my voice. And do as I say. Everything will be all right. That's right. Yes. Say it for me. Say that all you have to do is listen to my voice and do as I say. Good pet. Don't try to fight it. The words just spill out of your mouth, no matter how hard you try to hold them back. 
your subconscious is too deeply enraptured to resist. You will follow my commands. You will listen to my voice and do as I say and say it again. You will listen to my voice and do as I say. And as you say it, you feel that you believe it more and more. You want to obey. You want to. That's right. Listen to my voice and do as I say. And again, sinking deeper and deeper. Such a good pet. completely unable to resist me. No one can resist me or the mesmerizing pull of my eyes, the hypnotic lull of my voice. Not even you. You will helplessly fall into a deep, hypnotic sleep whenever I tell you to and you will love it. Now you will let me pet your head. Good pet. Such a sweet pet. Just relax and let me take care of you. You're an obedient pet under your mistress's care. That's much better, isn't it? Oh, you look so calm, so sleepy. You are not used to relaxing like this, are you, dear? I can tell. As a detective, you must always be on edge, waiting for the next big disaster to happen. Oh, you sweet little thing. It must be tiring. Normally, I would just let you leave and tell you not to come back, but I might keep you. Shh. Handsome pet, there is nothing you need to worry about anymore. I will make sure you are safe here. So go to sleep. Everything is okay. You feel very safe as I stroke your hair and whisper into your ear. Yes. That's a good pet. Sleep for me now. Sleep.